Hello, welcome to Trimex Tech Talks. Ah, oh, fall, that special time of year. The leaves are changing, the temperature's dropping. Ah, oh, special time of year. Well, it's also special time of year as well. Uh, a special time of year in software because this month is the new release of SolidWorks just came out. And in celebration of this new release of SolidWorks, Trimex having the whole month of October of webinars covering the what's new of 2021 of SOLIDWORKS as much more on the technology of also added manufacturing 3D printing and also the next generation in technology in the cloud, the 3D experience platform from Dassault Systems. So please tune in to the whole month of October. We have lots of content for you on the cutting edge of technology. Uh, the go along with this great time of year as well, we're also doing live tech tips that you're tuned in now to. We're going through and giving the capabilities of the different solutions of SOLIDWORKS and how things work. And during this live tech tip, if any of you have any questions or anything during the, during the presentation, feel free to put it in the chat. And when I'm all done with the tech tip, I'll be more than happy to answer any questions that anybody has at the end. So. My live tech tip I'm going to bring to you is customizing the command manager. So the command manager is that ribbon, the thing across the top of the screen that you all know in Excel or also known as a command manager in SOLIDWORKS, the way they refer to it. Well, that's where you find all your commonly used commands all across the top. And we have different tabs on how they work. Now, very often people want to go through and they already come preset with all the commands you usually have, but what if I want to customize it? You know, add my own commands or, or change the look of it or heck, just get rid of it. Well, we can do that. Now, one way is you can right click and go to customize or another common place that people go is, is you actually come up to this gear up here and this is the most common place is you hit the black down arrow and when you select that, then go to, cust to the customize menu because that's really the main place where everything is. Now, when you go to this customize menu, you'll probably notice that the command manager actually changes where now we have all these different tabs now besides the ones we had earlier because in the custom when you're in the customize menu, you can also customize command manager at the same time. Now, if we go through and look at kind of more of a general overall customization of the command manager, you know, just the ways to like, affect it globally, when you make a change, it'll affect all of it is like I said before, hey, maybe I wanna get rid of it. So over here under the toolbars, we have what says enable, disable the command manager. So if I go through and disable the command manager, it's gone. Or if I go ahead and re-enable it, it brings it back. So once again, I mean, that affects of course across everything when you do that. Now we come over, keep continuing this uh, tour. We come over here to the right we can also affect the size of the icons. Right now it's set to the small icons, but we can go to bigger and really big icons if we want, or they would say use large toolbar buttons. Now the reason for that would be is let's say you have a 4K monitor. Well, as you know, things get much smaller on it and this is a way to get those nice large buttons that you can see easily, easily even with the higher resolution system to take advantage of. Now, as we keep our tour, we come down further to our tool tips. Now, what are these tool tips? Well, if you ever go on an icon, let's say you come up to a command and you hover over it, that's the animation or text that appears underneath the, each of the commands. These are the tool tips. So if you want to, you can actually go through and change the tool tips from being large animations or pictures, just text, or completely turn them off. It's up to you. And that's again affects the whole entire command manager globally. Now let's keep scroll. Let's keep coming on down here to the last and final one here called uh, called the quick access toolbar. Okay, that's an interesting quick access. What the heck is that? Well, actually, it's something we're at least I've been using software for a long time that I'm familiar with. Is way at the very top above the command manager, we have the actual they call it the quick access toolbar. It has things like file open, the save button, printer, and so on. And that's the quick access tool button. So now we can actually go through and affect where that is. So if I go through and select in the in that option, I go through and select to show it on the command manager, it's now over here on the right side, where no matter which tab I change to, 
it will always be available there and it cleans up once again at the very top. So you can now customize where the quick access toolbar is, where you'll find the save button. Now, part of customization obviously is, you know, that's the, the global settings on how to affect the user interface of it, but I wanna make my own stuff. You know, I'm in charge, I, I know what I want, I wanna do my own thing. So I'm gonna go a step further and I'm gonna customize my own menu. So if I go all the way to the end, of the toolbar, you'll see this little uh, bar that says new, and that's you can click on that and get to an empty toolbar, or another easy way to get to it is, I can actually right click on any tab, and then I have a thing called add tab. And I can then select one called empty. When I do that, I can call it whatever I want. And once I create that tab, this is my own, and this is a blank slate. So I can put whatever I want for commands. Now, how I place commands on that empty tab is I come back to my customized menu here, and I go to my commands tab, and now I can start going through and placing this command by just dragging and dropping. So if I want my own assembly for, and a drag and drop, I don't know, the save button and so on. So I can quickly add those. If you notice, there's actually a down arrow to these commands I'm adding. Well, these are called flyouts. So there's actually more commands underneath them if I was to select them. But you know, you know what? I changed my mind. I want to do something different. So I'll pull these off the command manager. And once again, you just click on it, drag, and just drop it, and it's gone. So I want to do more of a workflow of how you design a part, you know, what I would be using to do that. So the first step of always designing a part is I go to my create a sketch. So I'm gonna go through and go to my sketch menus. Once again, it just gets all my sketch commands up easily. And then I just drag and drop, very same method, you know, lines, you know, stuff that you're used to using all the time. And you just kind of go through and do that. And as you probably have seen, or as I noticed when I drag my actual part up there, you'll see a green plus appear. Well, that means it's gonna add it to the actual toolbar. So you could, it gives you feedback as you're adding these different components. Oh, so I got those there, but if you notice it's taking up a lot of real estate. Well, I wanna simplify it. Well, I can right click on the actual command and uncheck text below where it moves the text to the right side. So I can actually start stacking some of these commands to get more real estate. Once again, you see how I'm getting more and more space so I can put more on it. Once again, I'll do all my workflow on how to make a part. Well, let's be honest, I know what the line icon looks by now. I don't need text for that. So I can right click and uncheck show text and simplify it even further. Once again, right click and uncheck show text. And now it really easy to see icon to do it. Well, so obviously what's the next is features. So I'll go to my feature menu and then once again, drag and drop. You know, if you probably know, it's kind of the same process over and over again, just rinse and repeat and just pull from the command tab in the customization menu. Now, once I get my commonly used commands up there, if you notice, these icons is hard to tell apart. That's a feature and that's for sketching. Well, I can actually right click on this tab here and add what's called begin group. We'll actually add a divider. Add a divider in between those two buttons to show you that, hey, this is a different group for features. And I know that that's gonna be a different section that I would use instead of confusing it with a sketch button. And now once again, I go through and add those, but obviously after we do features, what's the next one we do? Like I, is usually we do a part, we make a drawing. So I'll do the same thing, drag and drop. And, and you put in whatever you want for commands. And once again, I wanna show that the, 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 the new group kind of separate them. I'm gonna go begin group and there's that divider. So now if I was to let's say start designing a part, I'm gonna go from left to right, starting a sketch, create the feature and make a drawing. And I have not left this tab in the command manager. It's the same tab. So once again, you can even design it as a nice workflow on how you design and make parts. And you don't have to keep clicking on the different tabs. Very, very helpful. And the cool part is that it will gray out the commands that aren't being used. For example, I'm in a part right now. So all my drawing Commands are grayed out, so they're not available. So still, you don't have to worry about misselecting the wrong command while you're designing. But once again, that's a full deep dive customization. Most people don't need to do that, or you need to know what you gotta have. Most people usually wanna customize a little bit. You know, the stuff that they use all the time, or they've been using a lot, they didn't expect to. So I'm gonna go over here to my sketch, uh, sketch tab, and very commonly, 
I want to add, let's say, a couple commands I've used four times this week that are more probably advanced, but I didn't expect I was using them. Well, I can actually get those to come up under the command search. Well, the command search is something I don't know if you're familiar with. It's way over here in the upper right corner up here. We have our search button, but if you actually click the down arrow over here under command search, you get you get the command search and all the other search options. And I keep saying command search because that is the one that's up, but that is one of the options under the search bar here. So as long as you have this C prompt or black box looking item, you can now start typing in there text or whatever. Let's say I want to type in mirror, a very common thing we use. Well, there's my mirror for a mirror feature I was looking for. Now I can go ahead and select it and we'll start the actual mirror feature, or I can go a step further, use the uh, use that I to go find, show me where it is. But you know, I've used this thing like five times today. I don't want to keep searching for or looking for it. I'm just going to click, drag, and drop it right on the command manager. So if you've used the part three or you've used a search for the same command four or five times, you can then go, hey, you know what? I'll make a button in my sketch because I'm always using it. And once again, let's go again and search again for, I don't know, um, common, another one like split. So, and the nice thing is you don't have to fully type out the whole word. It comes in as just it. So I want to do split feature. So that's one I've used a lot. Once again, I just get hover over on the icon, click, drag, and drop. And now I've added both those buttons to my sketch tab that I can now utilize and use. And once again, it's a little customization, not a lot, to give you that flexibility to once again to cut down the amount of uh, times you're having to look for the same command over and over again. So, so I hope you enjoyed that. So now, uh, Molly, is there any questions? Hi, Chris. It looks like you have answered them all. Great job. All right. Thank you very much. So everyone, I appreciate you tuning into our live tech tip. And just to let you know, there's going to be more. Yours truly, same time, same station is going to be doing a tech tip on hidden customizations. Yes, all the all the ones that you have to know they're there. And then you, there's so much in customized hardware. I'm sure if you tune in on Friday for that, you'll see some hit. You'll, I'm guarantee you'll find one you probably have never seen before. And along with that, we're once again this whole month of October, we're celebrating all this great stuff. And on and coming up this next Monday on October. 26, we're gonna have I'm gonna be my again with another colleague of mine doing doing design reviews and virtual prototypes, rendering stuff, making all that nice marketing material, making shiny things for you. And please tune in for that. And that's gonna be October 26 at 2 p.m. And finally, the last day of the month to really tie all this celebration together is about SolidWorks 2021. And we have on Friday. October 30th, we're going to do the, probably the one I will tune in for that. I always like watching the what's new is the what's new in parts, assemblies, and features. And I always learn something new in the software that I want to take advantage of to get, get it installed and to make my job faster and easier. So thanks again for tuning in to Trimax Tech Talks.